Hey Zoo fans, I'm Carl. Thank you for joining us for Creature Feature Friday. Um, today I'm going to answer some questions from the kids at Ocean View Elementary School about our Watusi, who you can see here behind me. So the biggest one is Gamba, and then the smaller ones are Kamu and Kari. All right, the first question is where do they live? So they are a breed of domestic cattle um, that originated from some varieties in Eastern Africa. Um, now they're bred and raised all over the United States and other parts of the world too. Next question is why do they have large horns? So that's obviously the most striking feature of this breed um, and those horns serve several purposes. Originally they were used as defense against predators like lions. Um, and they also have another really cool function. It also helps keep them cool. So they have a network of blood vessels that runs all the way through the horn and that helps excess heat dissipate away from their body. Um, and they're also just a unique ornamental feature of that breed. All right, why are they that color? So they can come in several colors. This is the most common color you'll see on the Watusi, um, either a solid red or red and white. Um, and that probably originally helped them blend into their environment in Africa. Um, they can come from some more arid parts of Africa. Um, but now here in the United States, they're selectively bred to have those colors and look like that. What do they eat? So here at the zoo, they eat mainly hay and grain, um, but they can survive on just grass. How big do they get? The males can get pretty big, up to 1,600 pounds. And what adaptations do they have? So those horns that we talked about already are a great adaptation. Um, they also have an extremely efficient digestive system. Just like other bovids, they have four chambers to their stomach, and that's really good at extracting nutrients from nutrient-poor food sources like grass. All right, well, thanks for joining me for Creature Feature Friday. Uh, see you next Friday when we talk about our Red River Hog.